So a quick recap then on the normal distribution. The normal distribution is bell shaped. It has a mean in the centre. Why this focus is um, messing around I don't know. Alright, so we've got the mean there, got the standard deviation here. Okay, now in a standardised normal distribution, the mean is taken to be zero and the values are equal to standard deviations for other distributions. But this particular distribution then is Z is normal, the mean is zero, standard deviation one. So if we get a problem, like what is the probability that X is less than 30 when X comes from a normal distribution with mean 28 and standard deviation 3, then our task is to transfer the X information into Z information and then answer it using our Z tables. So um, if we remember that our Z transformation can be found by taking our score, finding the difference between our score and the mean, and dividing it by the standard deviation. This is the conversion from Z to X. So we're going to convert from X to Z, this particular problem. So we want to know the Z value that goes with 30. So Z will equal 30, subtract the mean of 28, and divide by the standard deviation of 3. So we're looking at a Z value of 2 thirds. So the Z tables in the back of your book look like this. They don't look like this. In fact, they look like old numbers, but this is what they relate to. The standard deviation is 1. And our Z value, we're looking at probably that Z is less than 2 thirds. Okay, so that is indicated by the area I'm now shading in. That's exactly what you find when you look down your Z tables. You look at the value of Z, looking for 0.67, that's as close as you can get, and you look up um, that value there, and you'll see that it's not far off 67% itself. Um, just to remind you, and it's really good to know this, because you'll know if your answer is correct. Actual percentages um, work out something like this. So you have 34% between 0 and 1 standard deviation above or below the mean. 14% between the first and second standard deviation above or below the mean. Well, this is not a very pretty picture. So the 2% left there. So the probability that Z is less than 1, and if we to add that up, the probability that Z is less than 1, we can do this two ways. We can add up 34, 34, 68, and 14. Uh, 68, 14 is 82, and two, so it's going to be close to 86%. 84, should I say, 84%. Would have been easier to have taken the 14 and the 2 away from 1 to get the 84. But we're looking at, back over here, not quite 1, so I imagine the answer is going to be close to 75%. Now, I would like to know how to pause this recording, which I have not worked out yet. Um, so it may be that I have to leave it at this stage. I think I probably will stop recording. Just having got my options here while you're watching me. Another little thing I can do here, it's quite good, but I can actually get my pen and get a pen and annotate on the drawing. So I'm just doing this to see what that actually looks like. It's not that easy to control, but this should be on the recording. I suppose it highlights something if I want to do that. I cannot see how to pause this video, which is annoying really, because you're bound to want to pause. Hang on, hang on now. Set display. Set size, set size, set colour. Nope, don't get rid of that. Um, oh, I'm going to have to stop recording.